Hey guys, uh, if you ha have a Lexus key, it's a smart key, uh, that uh, the unlock works correctly, the panic button works correctly, but the locking button does not lock the car. Uh, typically you can fix this, it's inside here, and I'll show you how to do it. First thing you want to do is unscrew the little screw on the back of the key. Take that little screw out, keep that, and take off the back. And there's the inside of the key with the battery. You've probably seen this before. You can go ahead and remove that out of the casing. And so what we're going to have to do now is take this apart here. It's not too bad really. If you have a fingernail, you could probably get right in this little in between the black and the, the tan area and peel that apart. When you peel it apart, you'll see the three buttons that correspond with the panic, the unlock, and the lock here. And so here would be the panic button, the unlock button, and the lock button. The lock button, the first time I did this was held on I think by one connection was twisted this is the second time this has happened so uh, I'm gonna go in there I'm gonna make sure that this is placed just right I'll go to the car make sure that it's locking correctly and I'm gonna put a little dab of hot glue there but that's it once you either rotate this back to the position where it needs to go test it by pushing it make sure it locks your car and then reassemble the key and you should be back in there. Okay, I was able to get the button back in place. I put a little hot glue, just dabbed a little bit at the bottom. It was, <clears throat> had to take me a couple tries trying to hold the button down while putting the glue in place. Uh, but I put the glue in place, grabbed a little sharp X-Acto knife and trimmed off the excess glue. And now when I press the button down, the light shines and it works. So I will just reassemble the key. Put that back in place. Make sure that it seals. Put it back in the key. the screw back in and we'll test it one more time make sure the light pops on when I press the button there it is now it's working again thanks again for watching